Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with some more FIFA 20 Grimsby Town career mode. That's right, Season 7. Uh, yeah, the seasons have been going thick and fast. You know, it feels like yesterday that we started off this FIFA 20 campaign mode with Grimsby Town. But yeah, we are firmly in the Premier League, as you can see on screen. We're just having a look at the Premier League table. So you've got Man United at the top on 33 points, joint top with Man City. Um, got a slightly better goal difference though, that's why they are of course on top of the Premier League table. Liverpool in third place on 31 points, Spurs up there on 29 points in fourth. Then we've got Arsenal, Chelsea, there we are, Grimsby Town sat in seventh place, joint on points with Chelsea who are in sixth. Uh, slightly worse goal difference. Then we've got Leicester and then as we further move down the table, we've got Southampton Palace, Bournemouth, Keep moving down. You can see the relegation zone is currently occupied by Aston Villa, Burnley and Everton. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's it, thing, things are looking okay for us at the moment. Obviously, our uh, our board want us to try to finish in the, in the in the Champions League spots. I still think that's very much a possibility for us. Like I say, I mean, we're only three points off of fourth place Spurs. So, yes, it can be done. Will it be done? I don't know. I'm going to try my best to, to obviously achieve that. I feel like we've got the team certainly to do that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look at the team. Speaking of, you know, we've got Sanchez Rebus up there, 89. I mean, sometimes, I mean, certainly in the last live stream, he was really frustrating me. Definitely felt like he wasn't an 89 rated striker. I don't know why his pace is like all the way out there. I mean, his pace is supposedly meant to be really, really like, he's meant to be really, really quick, but sometimes it just feels like he's a bit... Like his acceleration, it just feels like it's a bit too slow. Um, then we've got Greenwood up there as well. Kubo, Kubo's been a sensational signing for us uh, this season. We've got Puig as well, who's been bossing the midfield alongside Davis. Cabral, the uh, the, the long-serving Cabral, it should be said, over on the left-hand side. And then we've got Devecchi as well, on the right. Only 22 years old, 88 rated. I mean, Sanchez Rebas is, what, 23 years old, 89. So... Those two, very, very good indeed. And then we've obviously got Lombo Suarez, who was another free agent signing for us in the middle of the three defenders at the back, Ampadu Kabak. And then Pereira, the long-serving goalkeeper, the young goalkeeper from Brazil, still holding down the four in between the sticks for Grimsby Town. Um, just looking at the bench, I mean, it's a bit of an, an annoyance that we have race benched not more often than not. We've got Marcus Dolivero, who is a good young centre-back coming through. We've got Santos Dajuda as well, who we signed in the last live stream. It was a bit of a... I don't know, maybe we paid a bit too much for him. Um, it didn't come in as uh, as highly rated as we wanted him to be. But, you know, that stuff happens. What can you do? Um, but yeah, without further ado, guys, we are going to get straight into it. The first game in this stream is going to be an away game against Newcastle. It's going to be a tough one. Um, it's certainly one that we're aiming to win. You know, we always want to win every single game that we can. It's going to be a tough one for sure. Not, not really too sure what to uh, what to expect to come away with from this game. What to expect to come up against in terms of the Newcastle attack. Oh, we got a dribble through here, right? Oh, uh, what? I don't get it. What do, what do, what do we have to do? I, I don't, I don't get that drill. Never really understand half the drills and what they want us to do, to be honest. But here we go. At St. James's Park here, away from home against Newcastle. Let's hope that we can kick things off tonight with a good win against the North England opponents in this one. Here we go. Brilliant tackle. Greenwood gets it back. Plays it plays it back to Kabak. Kabak over to Devecchi. Devecchi just gets muscled off the ball there. Not, not really sure what's going on. Newcastle playing a nice nice little one-two on their left-hand side as they now approach the coming to towards our 18-yard box. Devecchi still out on that far side trying to make up for his mistakes. He's just been done though. Get out. Close him down, lads. Close him down. Don't, don't allow the cross. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Oh my gosh. We are getting absolutely schooled. What the fuck is that? Who the hell is that kid? Oh my word. Godfred Donsa. What the... I am, I am lich, I am stunned. I am stunned as to what the hell just happened there. We've got to go and try and get a goal back almost instantly, otherwise I feel like Newcastle will look to set up shop and potentially go for just a 1-0 victory here. Certainly feels like something that Newcastle wouldn't be against doing. Um, it's going to frustrate, I feel like they're going to frustrate us now for the next, you know, 80 minutes or so. We need to get back on level terms as soon as we can. Uh, Davis running in from the midfield. 
just can't get the ball under his control. Here's Greenwood though. Greenwood, Greenwood. Kubo's there. Kubo, Kubo still got it. Oh, goalkeeper makes a fantastic save. Might have come off of one of the defenders on the line. Kubo almost gets a goal. Yeah, it's a defender. Comes off of the defender's head there. As a chance, there was a chance to level things up almost instantly. We, we definitely need to get a goal back very, very soon if we have a chance in this one. I must say so. Was, you know, taken, taken, taken aback a bit, you know, taken maybe just shocked that Newcastle were going to attack us so early on in this game. We were perhaps thinking that Newcastle were going to go a bit easy on us. Oh, Sanchez Rebas has a shot. Goalkeeper this time does manage to get it away and parried it around his left hand post there. Let's whip this one in from the far side. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, my God. Sanchez Rebas. Perhaps just not expecting it. Oh, my God. Is that, is that Loris Carrius in goal for Newcastle? I don't believe that. Come on, ref. Ref. He's wasting time. So much time wasted there, ref. That's absolutely ridiculous. Should be done for time wasting. We're going to get done on the right-hand side again. This is uh, this is where we got done for the first goal. It's this guy, Godfrey Donsa. Oh my gosh, he's going to do it again. Ampadu, fantastic challenge. I don't care, fantastic challenge. The fans are obviously booing because they feel like they should have got a penalty there. I feel like he timed it perfectly well there to avoid having to give away a penalty. And then, as I say that, we give away the ball. Oh, Greenwood just gets blocked off trying to track back. This is not going well so far. Half an hour in and we are 1-0 down. It's been a bit sloppy from us going forward. I can see Books in the chat. How's it going, Book? Maybe maybe this is what I need. Maybe I need some people in the chat to uh, try and help me get back on level terms and then eventually go ahead in this one. It's been, a, like I say, a bit unexpected to go down so early on, if I'm being honest. Um, maybe, maybe, yeah, just taking, not, not taking Newcastle seriously. Here we go. Greenwood is through though, Greenwood, there we go, that's what I'm talking about, Book joins the chat and immediately, three or four minutes later, it's, it's insane, we score, fantastic, what a, what a counter-attack that was, Sanchez, Rebass and Greenwood combining once again for the Grimsby Town goal, look at that, nice little one-two, oh my, yes Greenwood, that's what I'm talking about, that's what we needed to get ourselves back in this game, still got time now in this first half to Maybe even grab one just before half time. Really give the Newcastle manager a bit of a, a tough choice to make in terms of going into the second half. If we can grab one just before half time, we'll certainly change the half time team talk for both sides as well. Let's see, we go. Sanchez Rebas. Oh, ref, ref. There we go, ref. Well done. Fantastic decision from the referee there. Play it short. Oh, uh, the Vecchi. Oh, that was almost a chance. That was almost a chance to make it 2-1. Whip it in. Oh, who is that? Is that Sanchez Rebas again trying to get ahead on it? It looks like it was. The ball is going to roll out on this near side for a throw into Newcastle. Less than a couple of minutes now left in this first half. Plus added time, of course. I feel like we, we, we've done okay to get ourselves back on level terms. We need to obviously find that second goal at least to try and, you know, give ourselves a bit more breathing room. All of our players getting dragged in to the ball there. Oh my gosh, we can see the free kick just outside the 18-yard box just before half-time. This could definitely have the opposite effect for us. Oh, it takes a deflection off the wall. Wall does fantastically well there. Does go out for a Newcastle corner though. So let's see. Hopefully we can defend this one. Get it away, lads. Get it away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please. Please. Ref. Ref. Blow up. Blow. Blow. Blow the whistle. Oh my gosh. That was too close for comfort. We do manage to get away with it though. 1-1 one, one into half time. I don't think we'll be making any changes. But we certainly need to you know, fix up defensively. Um, yeah, we have we haven't really been that great going back uh, towards our own goal. We we're normally quite good in those situations. We do normally win the ball back fairly quickly. 
it's not like anything about the tactics have changed. It's just maybe the mentality is just not there, you know. Still maybe a bit shocked from going down early on in this one. Players need to pick their heads up. Yedlin on the far side now. Kubo tracking him well. That's it, Kubo. Well done. Goes out for a throw on to Newcastle on the far side towards the halfway line. They're throwing it back to one of their central defenders. Keeping the possession really well, Newcastle. Frustrating us, of course, in the middle of the park. So, yeah, it's, like I say, it's been a frustrating game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my What the hell? Oh, my gosh. What is going on? What is going on? We are stunned. Stunned into silence, the away fans. Oh, I, I, I have no words. I literally have no words for that. We are... We've, we've been diabolical defending. You know, we defensively, we just haven't looked at the game. You know, we, we, we just didn't look all together in the first half. And certainly haven't started things well in this second half. Oh, we try and squeeze it through. Again... Just managed to get it away, Newcastle. It's, uh, yeah, it's frustrating, to say the least. We've got to just keep our composure now. Keep our composure. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. 2-2. Two, two. Sanchez Rebas. Come off the man. Come off the hour. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. It's a weight off my shoulders. We've gone behind twice in this game and we've managed to claw it back twice we definitely uh, he, we've got half an hour left in this one to try and you know salvage a win if, if we've got any hopes of trying to you know force our way into the top six top four this season then is, you know, we, we definitely have to be winning games like this Newcastle on paper are a team that we should be beating realistically Ampadu with a crunching challenge there just as Bodu was looking to work his way in to the box. Oh, why? Davechi, Davechi, stay on him, stay on him, Davechi. Good. Oh, come on. This is not going good, lads. This is not going good at all. That's going out. That's going out. Calm it down. We've got about 20 minutes. We just need, we just need, one, more, we need one more chance. We just need one more chance. I, I feel like if we have one more chance on goal, we will score. That, that's the way it's been for us today. We, we have had limited chances. The Vecchi is in now. The Vecchi. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There's the chance. The chance we have gone. One goal ahead against Newcastle away from home. 3 2. With just under 15 minutes left on the clock in this second half. That's what I'm talking about. The Vecchi absolutely rifles that one into the top left corner. Five goals for him so far in the Premier League this season. Arguably none more crucial than that one right there. 3-2 after being going behind twice in this game. 1-0 and then 2-1. We just need to hold on now. Oh my gosh, they've played a fantastic through ball to Manquillo. Kabak is back there to stop the cross coming across the goal. Here goes the corner. Get it away. Get it away. They're trying to do something from the training ground. Trying to do something from the training ground. Why is my players changing? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Pereira. I don't think he got a touch on it, but I feel like he's certainly grateful to watch that one go sailing over his crossbar there. And we can get it away now with the goal kick. Ampadu has it. Ampadu plays it out to Coman. Coman who's come on as a sub for Cabral. Here we go. Bailey. Bailey's come on as a sub for Puig. There's Coman on the overlap now. Oh, tries to whip it across the penalty box there. But, oh my God, no, 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 no. Ampadu, Ampadu, Ampadu. Look at that for defending there. Very spirited defending. Oh, come on, come on, David, David. One of you, one of you, one of you. Don't do stupid stuff like that. Play the ball the way that you're facing. Don't try. That's it, that's it. They're trying to do the over the head. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to bounce over goalkeeper Pereira there. It didn't, thankfully enough. And we can try to build something here. Play it into the corner if you need to, lads. Don't be ashamed of doing that. 
Oh, no. Why are, you st why are you still running forward when you quite clearly saw that the ball was intercepted? This is frustrating. Oh, Greenwood with the nice little back heel. Sanchez Ribas still has it. Look at that strength from Sanchez Ribas. Why did you, you didn't, you didn't have to play that through ball there. You did not have to play that through ball. You just have to keep possession and the game is yours. But there we go, guys. 3-2. Oh my word, what a game that is to open up. Look at that, the away fans are up in the heavens there in Newcastle. Showing their appreciation for what, they, for what they've just seen on the pitch. A fantastic effort from all the lads involved. You know, like I say, to go, to go one nil down, pull it back, and then go another, go down again, two one, and to pull that back, and then to get the winning goal in about you know the 75th minute or whatever it was is fantastic. So, yeah, Newcastle made it difficult for us, perhaps unexpectedly so, but you know a win is a win. We'll take all three points from that one. Hi, uh, just a couple of questions for you. You know, it's time to focus on our next game. We we can dwell on, you know, what we did right, what we did wrong. But, hey, look, you know, was the win ever in doubt? You know what? I trusted that we would give it our all and we fought till the end. So, Manquillo, I mean, we just played our game. We just played our game to the way that we know how to play. We didn't focus on anything that Newcastle were doing differently against us. But, we, you know, we were just trying to play our game. We've got another player, another one of our scouted youth players has been uh, snapped up by a different team. Not sure if that is a good player or if we don't mind actually losing him. I am a bit concerned. As you can see in the top left of the screen, our manager rating is 57. I'm a bit concerned about that purely based on the fact that, you know, we could get sacked. Obviously, the lower your manager rating is, the, the less respected you are by like the board and the chairman. So... I'm hoping, you know, that us forcing our way into that top four spot might rectify some of those problems. I know that they want us to reduce our player wages by 45k, and that's just not going to happen. We've already probably uh, given our new signings, you know, more than double 45k. So we're not going to reduce our our wage budget by 45k anytime soon, I don't think, unless a whole bunch of our players decide that they want to leave, and then we have to end up selling them. So. We're just going to have to deal with that as, in, as and when it comes. Um, like I say, 57 is not great. It's definitely not great. We need to be doing a lot better than that. Let's have a quick look at some of the youth players that we still have in our scouting. Yeah, they, they can all still stay in there. They're all still pretty decent. You're not. I'm sorry, Alfie Carter. Sorry, Morgan Baker. Reese Mitchell, you're not doing it for me either. Mason Cox, what are you doing in there? Tyler Green, come on. What is going on? We'll keep the rest of them in there. They still show some decent amount of potential. Kleber Menezes has gone to Gangju RNF 4957. I don't mind losing you, to be honest. Felipe Silvera, you're not the one for me. You guys are all looking alright. Diego Nove Neves, you're not the one for me, mate. I'm sorry. Guillermo Alvarez, neither are you. Azevedo, you're not the one for me either. I feel like all of these players are relatively okay. We've got a left winger, Miguel Cruz, 57 to 67, 78 and 92, could be decent. Alex Conchichal as well, 77 and 94. Got a good couple of players in here. Um, yeah, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing to uh, turn your nose up really. <laughs> Stefano Mancini, 58 to 64, 84 to 94. Ah, uh, Lorenzo Bruno, you've dropped out of that. Giovanni Greco. Oh, sorry guys, no idea why I'm yawning, I'm not even that tired. There we go, we've got a bunch of players who've got the potential up to be a 94 rated player. Mexico apparently offered us a job to be the international manager, but we obviously did not want to accept it. Oh my word, I've just seen it as well, look at that. Sanchez motherfucking Rebath is now up to a 90 rated striker. Oh my word, oh my word. The Veggie 88 still... Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I think Kabak might have snuck up to an 84. Davis definitely went up from 85 to 86. We're, look, you know, we're looking alright. I mean, Sanchez Ribas is obviously the sensation. He has and always will be a Grimsby Town legend. But yeah, I mean, 90 rated striker for Grimsby Town is virtually unheard of. I think we'll leave it as it is for now. I think we'll sim this one against Bournemouth. We are playing at home. If we do win this one, then we could leapfrog Arsenal if they don't pick up a win. 
So let's go. Let's leave it to fate. Same team. Sanchez Rebas, newly rated 90. Sanchez Rebas. Is he going to do anything for us? He doesn't. But I would uh, argue that he potentially maybe got an assist or two in that game. Look at that. Kubo and Cabral picking up both goals for us. We went up very early on in that one after the 8th minute. Bournemouth then equalised a couple of minutes later. And Kubo picked up the all-important goal in the 69th minute. We win that one 2-1. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Still in 6th place. Only 3 points still behind Spurs. We are 3 points clear now of Leicester. Always, always good when we have a bit of a buffer to the teams behind us. Santos da Juda there, up to 78 rating. Do I have a Mega Limited account? What is Mega Limited? I don't know what that is. I don't know what Mega Limited is, man. Is that like a game thing? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too sure what, I'm, what you mean by Mega Limited account, dude. Also, thank you for coming and hanging out, Islam. I hope you've had a, uh, I hope you've had a good day. Oh, this is a big game, a big game. Coming up against Leicester, who I mentioned earlier, we are only three points ahead of Leicester in this one. I feel like I might actually play this game. I feel like I might, might play this one. And Purdue snuck up to 82 as well. Yeah, I think I might actually play this one. Might make a couple of subs or a couple of changes to the squad. Thank you all but I think I'll play us. this we'll one. Hey, look, you know what? It's not going to be easy, but we're, we're going to give it. We're going to give it our all. What is the sentiment regarding the previous match? We have proven tactics. We know what we're doing. Hey, look. My players will definitely improve soon. I know it's been a bit erratic okay, over the last couple of weeks, but you know we've what? We've picked up two wins on the bounce. Not the easiest wins to uh, to pick up as well. So. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy with the way that we've been performing. I'm going to put Harrison on the pitch. I'm going to give Bailey a game. And then I will also put Mason Moore, the captain. Or not actually the captain anymore. I've sw swatched, I've swapped the captain over to Lombo Suarez. Because he is a bit more of a uh, guaranteed starter for us. Coman on the left. Uh, we will also rotate Marcus Dolivera in. And we'll give Daniele Ricci a game. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Rotate the team a bit. Obviously, we can fall back on the bench if we do need to. If we find ourselves struggling in this one against Leicester City. Away from home at the King Power Stadium. Let's see how this one goes. Can we get some predictions for the score in this game in the chat? Let's see. Let's see how, how well you think I'm going to play in this one. I don't think very well. But then again, I say that about every single game that I'll play. So... Oh, look at that. Nice little chip in the training there. So, let's hope that we can maybe pull something off like that in this one. Oh, it's snowing here at the King Power Stadium in the Midlands. Look at that. It's a light dusting of snow here in Leicester. Let's go. Grimsby Town versus Leicester away from home. I'm hoping, like I say, I mean, I think it's a given really to say that we're hoping to win. But, you know, it really is something that we want to do. We want to win as many games as we can this season. We're trying to aim for that Champions League spot. Top four would be fantastic. Uh, I think... Oh, here we go, Mason Moore. I'm just going to interrupt myself there, Mason. Mason Moore! Oh. Perhaps had better options over to his right-hand side. He just wanted to go there. He had his run. He wanted to just continue it. Ampadu now with the ball after the long... Hoof upfield from the Leicester City goalkeeper. Greenwood. Looking for support. Finds it in Harrison. Harrison back to Greenwood. Oh, smashes it. Look at that nice little one-two between the strikers. Harrison and Greenwood linking up fantastically well there. Leicester City home fans stunned into silence early on in this one at the King Power. The away fans up in arms. It's a website to download files, songs, make emails, but you have to log in. That's why I was questioning for this. I do not have a Mega Limited account. I'm sorry, mate. I do not have one of those accounts. Right, let's go from the kickoff. Oh, almost win it back instantly. Oh, we do win it back. Mason Moore's there to win it back 
vital interception there. Transitional time at Chelsea, you feel. Oh, unlucky, unlucky lads, unlucky. I like the invention there. I did like that. Going for a nice little one-touch passing and that lofted through ball over the top was looking enticing indeed. Puig, Puig has got it. Mason Moore. Ref. Oh, oh, come on. Good draw for Coventry or Birmingham against Leicester. Was that what, in the FA Cup? In the FA Cup? Is the FA Cup draw tonight? Taking on a couple of opponents now. Uh yeah, that's that's also the weird that's a weird thing as well. Because what is it? Like Birmingham are playing or Coventry are playing their home games at the Birmingham City Stadium for some reason. I'm not too sure what's going on there. I guess Coventry can't like afford their stadium. I d I I don't know, fill me in. Jamie, fill me in. What's going on with the Coventry Stadium situation? Because I know that they're not playing their home games at home, so to speak, anymore. Or at least in the FA Cup, I saw that they had a replay against Birmingham. And it's going to be played away from home, but at home, if you know what I mean. Greenwood. Harrison. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Is that the draw? The draw's on now. You're going to have to let me know who, like, what teams draw who. Like, I want to know who the big teams are coming up against. Obviously, I know Arsenal and Bournemouth are playing later on this evening at 8 o'clock. Uh, I think in the final FA Cup tie of the round. So, oh, Harrison was looking for the ball over the top to Moore. You can see Moore running towards the penalty spot there. Just couldn't pick the ball out from under his feet in time to pick out Mason Moore. We go again, though, from the throw-in. Oh, Harrison just runs into traffic. Leicester get a lot of bodies back there to crowd him out as he tries to make his approach in to the penalty box there, the 18-yard box. <clears throat> oh, my God, what a through ball that is over the top. Ampadu, stay with him. Ampadu, Ampadu. That's it, stay with him. Oh, no, no, no. Ref. Oh, my gosh, what has happened there? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I thought I just got embarrassed. Oh my god, I thought I just got embarrassed there. Oh, thank gosh. Oh my god. Liverpool, Shrewsbury playing Chelsea. Wow. Wow, what a, what a game that will be. Can't wait to watch Shrewsbury beat Chelsea. Oh my god, I'm so thankful for the offside there. Honestly... Thought that I'd just been absolutely done and my goalkeeper was nutmegged, but we live to fight another day. Here we go. Greenwood. Oh, Greenwood does it all himself there. Doesn't need support of anyone there. Greenwood, Mason Greenwood. That's what I'm talking about. Number 10, Grimsby Towns, number 10. Look at this. Makes a fantastic run, cuts back in on his left foot. And curls it in to the top left corner of the Leicester City goal. Goalkeeper a bit outstretched. Defender there. Don't know what he's doing. Perhaps not expecting that shot to come at him as quick as it did. But there we go. 2-0 away from home. Fantastic. After almost conceding down the other end moments earlier. If not for an offside decision. We make it 2-0. Just before half time. Hopefully we can go into the break. Just a 2 0 up, keeping the clean sheet would be fantastic. Definitely need to reorganise ourselves going into the second half. We, again, haven't looked great defensively, although we have still got the clean sheet. You know, we, we just haven't looked great. We haven't looked great. Leicester City, here they come, trying to pick a goal up before the half time whistle is blown, but Sanchez or Lombo Suarez gets across just in time, makes that tackle. Half time whistle blows. Away fans showing their appreciation. You can hear boos and whistles around the stadium. The King Power Stadium not happy with what they have seen so far this evening. Let's go. Here we go. Grimsby. Second half against Leicester. Going well so far. Two goals. Clean sheet as well. Just play it sensibly, guys. Play it sensibly. No need to do anything too outrageous yet. Oh, Harrison to Greenwood. Greenwood. Oh, the hat-trick. The hat-trick. 
is there for Mr. Mason Greenwood. That's it, mate. Celebrate. Celebrate. Do whatever the hell you're doing there, mate. Live it all up. Can't believe Shrewsbury got two goals against Liverpool. Yeah, mate. Me neither. Me neither. I mean, that was a... Uh, I know what people will say. You know, it was arguably Liverpool's, you know, B team, C team players. It was all their, you know, under 23 squad basically playing against... Uh, playing against Shrewsbury. But you can't really take anything away from Shrewsbury. The way that they did that... You know, coming up against Liverpool, I mean, Liverpool's, you know, second team is, you know, still far better than Shrewsbury's first team. So, for them to do that in such the way that they did, it was fantastic from them. Um, I have heard, obviously, I mean, look, Jurgen Klopp has come out and said that he doesn't like FA Cup replays. I do understand where he's coming from, but also at the same time, it's the FA Cup. The replays are what makes it magical. It gives smaller teams not only the chance to make it further in the competition, but also a chance to go to stadiums that they perhaps would not otherwise be going to, such as Anfield. So I think it's a great opportunity for Shrewsbury. Uh, I think Klopp has come out and said that he is um, not even going to be like considering to be managing that game. He's perhaps going to leave the, the replay game up to his uh, assistant manager just to show you know he's not... I guess trying to make a point, trying to make a statement saying that he doesn't really feel for the FA Cup replays and he thinks that it's not fair on big teams who have to play a lot of games already to have to play replays on top of that against smaller opposition. Obviously, it's not fair from them, but I, 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 I think it's a bit disrespectful that he has come out and said that he's going to you know, put, put his um, youngsters and his second team uh, out against Shrewsbury. It's just showing them no respect, to be fair. But yeah, well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. You know, the FA Cup has been around for a far longer period of time than Jurgen Klopp has even been alive, let alone in the Premier League and managing an English club. So I think, obviously, he's entitled to his opinion. I, I don't particularly agree with it because I like the beauty and the magic of the FA Cup. And anyone who says, oh, yeah, that's, that's not the beauty of the FA Cup, well, it is kind of... Oh my god, Mason Greenwood. He's got four. He has got four. Mason Greenwood has got four goals. What is going on? Harrison, I mean, Harrison has turned a provider several times, but Greenwood, Greenwood has got four goals in this one. Ten goals in the Premier League. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mason Greenwood. Proving why he deserves to be in the starting 11 no matter what, right here, right now. It has been sensational from Mason Greenwood in today's game. Obviously, want to try and keep the clean sheet. Oh, there we go. Rotate your squad slightly as well. So it's always, always good when you can come away with a win from your rotated team. Harrison's there, Harrison. Mason Moore trying to run through, just can't get there in time. Perhaps Harrison could have played that ball into him a bit later there. Harrison trying to go in for the tackle. Referee waves advantage. Leicester now on the far side. Odin. Odin running out of defence. Oh, and he's just missed control it there. And it's out on the far side. Four. A Grimsby Town throw on. Let's go. Oh, come on. Why? Why would you play that through ball there? One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Oh, Daniele Ricci. Forced into making, I think, what, maybe one of his first saves in this game? He hasn't really been troubled so far in this one, but he does still stay alert at his near post there, makes a very, very good save indeed. And he's out here now to punch that one away. Gets a good punch on it as well. Leicester, though, still have the ball. Second chance. Greenwood getting back there on his defensive duties now. Harrison running away with the ball. Still going. Harrison is still going all the way. Ref. Still got it. Still got it. That's it. Calm it down. Calm it down, Harrison. Good run forward. Don't have to do anything stupid. Oh, my gosh. As I say that, we lose possession just inside the Leicester City half. And Perdue. Oh, Ampadu's been done. Ampadu's been sold. No, 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 no. Away, away. Oh, Daniele Riki. What a save. 
get it in your hands. There we go. Full-time whistle, 4-0. Away from home against Leicester at the King Power. That's what I'm talking about. A chorus of boos around the stadium. Mason Greenwood, four goals in today's game. Sensational performance from him. Absolutely intense. No, win, no one could stop him in today's game. We had seven shots, five on target. I think Greenwood has had all five shots on target and he had uh, four goals from those five shots on target. So very, very good conversion rate indeed. And it's uh, fantastic to know that we can rest some of our players and still come away with a win. Competition is good. Hey, look, you know what? We are unbeaten for a reason. I mean, Greenwood is a bloody superstar. The guy is Thanks. insane. Uh, yes, he has his barren patches. Yes, he can be bad at times. But when he does stuff like that, four goals, completely dominating a Leicester City defence there. Fantastic performance. Edson Race has gone up a rating, up to 83. That's nice to see. We'll be com competing with Mason Moore for a starting spot at the camp position. Got Wolves in our next game. We are up into fifth place now. Arsenal still have a game in hand, so that could all change. Still only three points behind Spurs. All the teams above us seem to be winning consistently. So, yeah, it's less than ideal for us. Got a midweek game against Wolves now in December. Game's coming thick and fast. Not sure if we are quite ready for the winter period and the amount of games that we are going to have to be uh, playing. The Vecchi can come back in to the team, as can Cabral. I think we will also put Kubo back in to the team there. Put him as a CF. Marquis Dolivera can come back off of the pitch for Kabak and Pereira. Reinstated in between the sticks. I'm going to go ahead and put Race on the bench. Um, and then I think that's probably about it. We've got Rose in there as well. We've got Coman. Coman is still holding it down as the backup left mid. So I guess we have to keep him in there just for that purpose. Let's go ahead. Let's sim this one against Wolves. See how it goes. Oh, 2-1. Devecchi and Kubo. Picking up the goals in that one. Kubo in the 29th minute. They do equalise via a penalty from Pesetto. But the Vecchi is there in the 75th minute to seal all three points. Yet again for Grimsley Town. Let's go. We are on a good run of form now, lads. Let's keep it up. We've got Burnley in our next one. Like I said, I mean, at the start of this season, we did come up against, you know, basically every top six side that, that we can come up against. And now it's sort of calming down a bit in terms of the... Uh, teams we are coming up against it's still not great but yeah we are we are definitely doing our best Sean Lee oh my god Sean Lee is 84 we sent him on loan to Liverpool and he's 84 rated oh my I don't think I'm going to uh, deal too much with the uh, wages on this live stream we've got Linz in there as well who definitely needs to be signed to an extended contract 52 million rated central defensive midfielder still relatively young I think our team is, is probably one of the youngest in the league to be honest we are in sixth place Arsenal won both of their games in hand over us so still only two points behind Arsenal and three points behind Spurs now six points behind Spurs Mason Moore complaining he is in pretty good form mate there's bigger games ahead but we will probably end up playing you we'll take you in back Let's go and change that to a cam and let's put Mason Moore in there. Uh, let's leave that as it is, I guess. Maybe we put Harrison instead of Sanchez Rebas and maybe Coman on the left hand side. Uh, I f mm, mm, mm. We'll put Linz in ahead of Puig for this one. Why the hell not? Got to start experimenting with the team a little bit. Going up against Burnley. They've got three losses in a row. They haven't scored a goal. Oh, they still haven't scored a goal. Four games without a goal for Burnley. Really struggling towards the bottom of the table there. De Vecchi, Harrison and Moore picking up the goals in that one.
Oh, Marquis Dolivera is up to 82 now. Fantastic progression from the young Brazilian centre back there. Almost, almost good enough, or just as good as Ethan Ampadu. Patrick Bailey's complaining about having one wanting to play more. Hey mate, stay grounded, dude. I expect more from you, mate. I'm counting on you in decisive moments. Do not worry about that. And I'm going to prove that because a decisive moment is going to come up against Leeds. We'll sim this one. We did obviously play two in a row and then we'll sim this one. And I've just seen after this game, we are playing against uh, Liverpool. So it's going to be a tough one to uh, to play. It's one of the games that we are, yeah, like I say, we are going to be playing it. We do want to uh, definitely try and win that one against, uh, against Liverpool. A Liverpool outfit who definitely not going to hold anything back against us. So... It's going to be tough. We obviously have already come up against him in this season, I think. Um, and that one didn't go according to plan. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this this next game that we have to play against Liverpool will be a much better result in terms of uh, in, in terms of us. So we'll see this one against Leeds on December 25th. I thought there was no games on Christmas Day, but what do I know? They've lost two in a row, conceded eight goals. Come on, Grimsby. There we go. Add another two to that tally. Bailey. Bailey telling me that he wants to play some more. And then obviously scoring and proving me wrong about not playing him. And then Cabral seals the deal in the 74th minute with the second goal. Fantastic. Fantastic from the lads. How are we doing in the league? We are now joint on points with the likes of Spurs, Arsenal, Liverpool. Two points ahead of us. We do play them in this next game, the game that we are going to be playing. Youth player once had Dylan Wilson is complaining. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with Dylan Wilson here. Who is Dylan Wilson? Dylan Wilson is the right back, 69 rated right back. That is who he is. We will sign you up, mate. Sign you up. Yes, indeed. All right. Rotate the team ever so slightly. The Vecchi. Harrison. Harrison can stay on the bench, to be fair. He's not been too great. I think we'll bring Marquis Dolivera onto the pitch, as well as Santos Dajuda. Why not? Let's give Linz a start. Let's change this back to a cam, and let's give Edson Race a game as well. What I am also going to do is I am going to put Wilson on to the bench, just to, uh, yeah, just to occupy a spot, I guess. Try to see if we can get him a, a bit of game time. Let's go for that. Oh, right. This is a big game coming up now against Liverpool. If we win this, we can catapult ourselves above Liverpool. Potentially as high as third place. But, you know, if we win this one, uh, we will definitely go ahead of Liverpool into fifth place. So, fifth place as a minimum. Third place potentially as a maximum. Uh, depends on how other results go. But let's get straight into it. Blundell Park is the venue for this one. Trent Alexander-Arnold still in the Liverpool side. Just goes to show just how young he is currently. I think he's only, you know, 27 in this game, 28. And we are quite a fair way into the future. So he's still going strong for Liverpool. The young right back for Liverpool. The sensational right back for Liverpool and England, of course. Let's get into it, though. We didn't come away with a good result when we faced them at Anfield earlier in the season. But we've got this one now. Chance for redemption potentially here at Blundell Park. Here we go now. Davis. Uh, uh, that's it. Keep the ball, keep the ball. Uh, oh, wow. we should have scored there. We should have scored. We're not going to get a lot of chances here against this Liverpool outfit. And we should have scored in that one. Would have been our first shot on target as well, but we should have definitely scored. And oh, Allison, 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 still, still a great goalkeeper. Oh my God, what a touch that is! Donny Van de Beek getting tackled though. Lombo Suarez, stay on him. Lombo, Lombo, good, good tackle, good hustle, Lombo. Spurs are one-nil up against Watford. It's not a good sign for us. That's ours, that's our ball. What on ref. Here we go. Throw back to Marquish Dolivera. Don't do anything stupid. Look, you're tiring him out. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. 
Liverpool getting it right at the back and building from that, building on the best defense. Here we go, here we go. Well, they've got some good individuals at the back and they've also got great understanding across that back line. Oh, where was the support? There was literally no one there. Literally no one there. Why is Mane still alive? Mane is still not alive. No way. No way is Mane still alive in the year 2025. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Oh my god. How the fuck? How the fuck did they get that shot away there? Please, someone explain. The Vecchi. Oh my gosh, what is that? Because the attack was looming large. <sighs> the break is definitely on. Oh my god, Allison is a fucking god. How? Any any other goalkeeper, that's 4 0. That goal counts as 4 for any other goalkeeper. Fucking Allison, man. He's he overpowered. It's just a goalkeeper's. Like the hey, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, I fucking give up. I give up. I'm glad that there's no one in the chat. I, I'm actually glad at times like this when there is no one in the chat. Oh, this is not not enjoyable. When you're going up against fucking Allison, who somehow is still one of the best goalkeepers, even though he's like 78. Like, what is going on there? Oh my gosh! Who is this Donny van der Kant, man? Fuck me. Who? Suso, Suso, what the fuck are you doing? Suso, you're not that good in real life. Calm your shit. FIFA, most realistic game ever. Oh my god. Oh, this is fucking frustrating. All we need is a goal. Fucking hell, Liverpool just look on it. That was not the ball, but okay. No, I don't want to whip it in. I want some. anyone to support me? No, okay, cool. Cool. Oh my god, Alisson! Alisson! What the... Oh my god, this is pissing me off. Alisson is not that good, man. Literally not that good. Oh my god, Linz, Linz, Linz. Oh, fuck off, ref. Fuck off, ref. You have, you've seen fucking something. You're watching a different fucking game, aren't you? Oh, oh my god, 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 oh my... Are we going to get it away? Are we going to get possession back? Oh my cunt. Fuck me in the ass, Please, please, just bend me over. Fucking hell. What the fuck was that? Get it away, you cunts! Oh my god. What the... My fist was about to go straight through my monitor. Fuck my life. Literally, fuck my life. Why the fuck do I keep coming back to this game? Why, 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 why do I keep coming back to this game? I don't understand why I play this game so much. I swear I've not changed anything about this game. It's just fucking difficult at the moment. Oh my god. Oh my god. How the fuck are we getting done? Like that. Control it, please. Control it, ref. That was holding. Oh my god! The players don't know what the fuck they're doing. Sanchez Rebas is not a 90 rated striker. I'm gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna sell him. I'm gonna sell him if he keeps pissing me off like that. I swear. If I can get 200 million for him, I'm gonna sell him. I'm gonna sell him. I need a breath of fresh air. Sanchez Rebas does nothing for me anymore. Literally. What is that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my, oh my.
I'm not going to lie, I might have to cut this stream short. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. When you when you come up against teams that are just as sweaty as Liverpool are and your defenders don't want to do anything. Look, 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 who's supporting ref? How? How is that not a foul? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Fantastic defending. Oh, my God. Lombo Suarez is the only person that knows how to defend. He doesn't know how to pass, though. Oh, fuck me in the ass. Oh. I might actually just end the stream early, to be honest. This has put me in a... Put me in a real fucking bad mood. It's just fucking. You come up against these teams that are just like so overrated. Sanchez rebound. There we go. There we go. Come on, man. More of that, please. 25 minutes left. Please. Let's get a draw out of this at least. A draw would not be the worst result for us. Just, please. Fucking the way that they play against us. They play against me how I imagine I would play against every other cunt online. Like, doing all of these cheeky little one-two. Oh my god! Oh my fucking... I'm sorry, I have shouted a couple of times. I don't even give a shit. Devechi, Devechi, please. Oh, and they somehow get it for a goal kick. It's, everything is just falling Liverpool's way. Alisson is somehow still a 99 rated goalkeeper, even though it's 10 years in the future where the guy's fucking walking with a walking stick. They take off Chiesa for Tammy fucking Abraham. It's like, okay. Fucking hell. Everything is just going their way. Ref. Yo, what? Why? Why? Why was that to you? That was not to you. Hello, Mr. Cookie. Oh, I wish I was in a better mood to speak right now, Mr. Cookie, but I'm just not. He's on side. Fuck off. Oh my. Oh. Oh, I swear. I swear to God. I'm gonna smash. I'm gonna smash my head on my desk. I don't know what's going on in the top left corner either. I don't know why the the. I don't know why the teams or the scores are not showing. I have no idea why the team or the scores are not showing, but I can say that I'm two one down. Is what the situation is. I am two one down. Oh, you're offside! This close, this close, this close to punching a hole in my wall, I swear. I'm so close, so close to, like, having to buy another controller. Uh, it's been frustrating, you know. I don't... Alisson, for some reason, is still a fucking beast of a goalkeeper. Like, a oh, ref! Come on, send off the cunt. Sorry, sorry, excuse my language. It's just pissing me off, this game. And I still, you know, I always say that all the time. I'm like, this game pisses me off. And what, what do I end up doing? Playing more of this game. No! What? Why? Why? What kind of through ball was that? Suso. Fuck off, Suso. You're a failed Liverpool reject who's now somehow returned to Liverpool. If it's the Suso that I'm thinking of, you are a failed Liverpool player. And now you've somehow gone back to play for Liverpool five years in the future. Please, please. 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 On! Oh, please! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I don't even give a shit. Yes! I don't care. I'm celebrating a draw. I don't care. Literally do not care. Oh! Oh my gosh, Mason, Mason, oh, I don't care, oh, look at that, literally the final kick of the, oh, oh my god, I'm exhausted, 
Oh my word, I am exhausted. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I wanted to win that game. But I don't really care. I don't really care. Thank you very much, Mr. Cookie, in the chat. Thank you. Well done, you're deserved. I oh, may. Oh my god. Oh. So this isn't even against, like, difficult. Uh, difficult. Op like, the difficulty rating is only professional. It's only professional. And I'm still. This, this just shows how bad I am at FIFA, right? I think a draw is definitely fully deserved, you know. Oh. Uh, Oh my god! I was I was gonna end the stream. I was gonna end the stream early because that's that, that's how pissed off I was. But I think I'm gonna stick at it for for a bit more, a bit longer. We are also coming up to the transfer window, so I am looking. I don't I don't actually know what position I'm looking for in terms of the transfer window, but I am potentially looking to make some signings. We've gone back up to a 71 manager rating though, which is great. Oh my god, as well. Oh, okay. So. We're going to reject that offer from, what is that, Greece. We're going to reject the offer from Denmark. But I've said this many times before on my streams. If we get offered the England job, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to, I'm going to have the England job as well as the Grimsby Town job. I'm going to manage two positions at once. So you know what? I'm going to accept it. I'm going to accept it. <laughs> We are now the manager of England, as well as Grimsby Town. I am more than happy to do that. Let's go. That's what we get for, you know, drawing against Liverpool. <laughs> that is what we get for drawing against Liverpool. Going to go into this pre-match press conference. Probably sim this game against Aston Villa. Kubo, rotation is key. Kid understands it. Hey, you know what? We need to play better. We do need to play better. Hey, look, won't be easy, but it never is. We're obviously trying to aim for Champions League qualification this season. But it is always going to be difficult, especially when you've got such high caliber teams in and around you. Maximiliano Rogel. He is back from injury. Yes, mate, we are England manager now. Obviously don't have anything to do with England. Let's, let's actually have a look at the England squad. Who? What's the England squad saying? We got Rashford up top. Rashford up top. 3 0 with the win with the sim. You want you want me to win 3 0 in the sim game? We got Hudson Odoi, okay, right. I will sim it. Uh we got McNeil out on the left, which is interesting. Phil Foden, a 90 rated cam. I mean, are we even surprised? Declan Weiss, Deli Ali still hanging about in there. Gomez. Wam why is Wambisaka on the pitch? Where's Trent? Trent can't be that old. Yeah, Trent is a lot better than Wambisaka, mate. I'm also putting Sancho on the right hand side. Who is our goalkeeper? It's Pickford, isn't it? Gomez Stones, is anyone else there? Sure, sure, surely we've got better left back. There we go. It's looking like a decent England side, you know? It's looking like a decent England side. We've obviously got Harry Kane still hanging around 32 years old. Do we have a good left winger? We got we got Sessignon? Is that Ryan Sessignon? Is that? That's a, that's a, that's a decent looking England team. You know, that's, that's, that's where we're going to be in a, in, a, in a few years' time, in terms of actually, like, real life. But yeah, let's get into it. Coming up against Aston Villa. We will rotate the squad ever so slightly. We're going to give Sanchez Ribas a bit of a rest, put Harrison on. I feel like uh, we're going to put... Oh, we're going to put uh, Takubo back in that centre-forward position, just off the two strikers. Cabral can come back into the squad. Bailey can go out on the right-hand side. Puig can come back in, Kabak and Ampadu as well. We'll leave it at that and we'll sim this game against Aston Villa. Hopefully we can pick up all three points in this one. Fantastic if we could. If we do, we have a chance of going ahead of either Spurs, Arsenal or Liverpool. All joint on 47 points there. Let's go sim it. Make sure Kane squares it, mate. <laughs> I'll have to make sure he squares it all the time. Come on, 4-1, look at that. Oh my god, we are so much better when I sim games now. Sanchez Ribas comes off the bench and scores. First time in a long time that he scored in the game that we have simmed. Greenwood and Cabral picks up the double. 
you said 3 0. It was 4 1. 4 1. It was close. It was a good guess. Good guess, Mr. Cookie. Very good guess. I would not have guessed that we would have won that by more than two goals, to be fair. Oh, Grimsby against Chelsea in the FA Cup. This is a game that we have to play as well because the FA Cup is. It's one of our objectives is the FA Cup is to finish or make it into the semi finals of the FA Cup. It's one of it's one of the objectives that the board have set us. So we kind of have to play this one. As we do just tick over into January in 2026. Transfer window has opened. So you know what that means. The transfer window is open. We have to uh, you guys have to tell me what players you want me to sign. If there is anyone any good players that you think might still be in this game? I mean, we are a few seasons into the future, but I'm fairly certain that a lot of the young players uh, nowadays are still in this game. So if there is anyone that you would like me to sign, let me know. Yo, Liverpool FC hero, how's it going? See you in the chat. Yeah, you almost guessed it, mate. Almost guessed it. 3-0 is 4-1. I mean, you got the, like, you, you, you got the winning margin, correct? What league are we in? We are in the Premier League at the moment with Grimsley Town. As I say, we've got this FA Cup game coming up against Chelsea early on in January 2026. It's, 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 yeah, it's one of those ones where we have to, well, I'd like to say that we have to win it. Just because to try and keep our, try and keep our team and our board happy. Danny Olmo, Danny Olmo is a good shout. The young, where is he at? Is that Barcelona, is he? I think he's at Barcelona. Let's see if... I'm fairly certain he should be in this game, right? Danny Olmo, there he is. The cam, 27 years old. Oh, 47.5 million, 170k wage. We'll shortlist him. Can't guarantee that I'll sign him because he is quite expensive. I mean, I'll show you the current budget shit situation of the squad so you guys can check that out. You know, although we've made 230.6 million pound profit, you can see our budget... 44 million on 135k. Now, obviously, we can adjust that how we see fit. Um, but yeah, we don't have a lot of money. Um, I, I, I'm not particularly looking for any players in any positions. I'll show you the squad real quick. Maybe like a, a higher rated cam might be a good one. Or maybe a, a, a centre back might be good. Um, apart from that, I'm not really too sure what position I'm looking at at the moment. Maybe, maybe, maybe actually a backup left mid. Coman is our only backup left mid. We don't have anyone else apart from him. Ronaldo, Messi, Regen. I don't know if they're actually like... I don't know if they're such a thing in this game. I know that they used to be. I'm fairly certain I have checked for Ronaldo, Messi, Regen already in this. Like if we go to right wing Argentina. And like someone who's like 19 to, or 16 is like 25 or whatever. I don't know if there is a messy region in this game. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Because I've played FIFA for long enough to know what you're talking about. But I don't know if, if, if there is such a thing in this version of FIFA. I know that there always used to be. You know, I would always do exactly the same thing. Ings over Inzaghi. <laughs> Ings over Inzaghi. What a, what a name that is. How's it going, man? How's it going, dude? Definitely Ings over Inzaghi all day of the week. I mean, I got Ings in my fantasy Premier League team, so definitely Ings over Inzaghi. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to identify. Normally, it says that, like there's something special. You know, it normally comes up and says something special or, or something like that. Town lost three two on the weekend. Yeah, I saw that, mate. I saw that. Well, I didn't, I didn't see it, but I saw the result. Um, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, they did well. They went, what was it? They went 2-1 up at half-time, I think, from what I remember seeing. Yeah, they went 2-1 up at half-time and it was just, it wasn't great. Showing great potential. Uh, someone else, all of my all of my scouts are busy, man. What's going on? What's going on? I'm going to get rid of one of my scout assignments because I want some scouts. We do have some scouts trying to get us some centre-backs, though. This guy, Bubakai Kamara, looks decent. 30 million, 120k. What I am going to do is I'm going to just recall some of the, one of the scouts so that I can... Uh, we're going to recall you, mate. Just so that I can have someone looking for some people. Thank you, I'm good, brother. How are you? 
and nice English is in my goal. <laughs> if you want to bet on Inzaghi scoring every week and being in your fantasy team. <laughs> bet on Inzaghi scoring every week and being in your fantasy team, mate. Uh, right, what were we doing? We were looking for the Ronaldo regen. Yeah, mate. Southampton, Southampton have looked good recently, you know. They, they, they're definitely on the comeback. They're definitely on... What they... I think that... They were in, like, last place or in the relegation zone for the longest time. And whatever... Um, what's his face has been doing? Is it Hassan Hootel? Is that... Is that your manager? It is Ralph Hassan Hootel, wasn't it? Ingzagi. Oh, mate. Ingzagi. Mate, brilliant. Alfredo Morelos. That's a good shout. The... Uh, what, what is he? He's, is he Colombian? He plays for Rangers, right? Ah, I can't spell his name. Uh, Morelos. Alfredo Morelos. 29. 29 years old. 83 rated. Plays for Borussia Mönchengladbach at the moment. Doesn't have a release clause. I am looking for... I do like to find players who have got release clauses in their contracts. Which is always always good fun. Right. Without further ado. I've been talking way too long. Let's get straight into it. FA Cup game at home against Chelsea. Big game for us. Like I say, the board, one of our objectives is to make it into the semi-final of the uh, of the FA Cup. So this is only the third round and we're being drawn against Chelsea. It's an all-Premier League clash. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one, guys. I'm going to try my best. I'm not the greatest at FIFA, as some of you already know. Booth for hours ago, he scored a late equaliser against them dirty chaps down in the road. Oh yeah, mate, he did, didn't he? That was in. What was that? That was in the FA Cup, wasn't it? Wasn't that in the FA Cup? That was, wasn't it? Fairly certain it was. Hmm. Wow, fast new. What a goat, mate. You guys are like eleventh in the table now. I swear. I swear, you guys are like mid-table now, like solid mid-table. You got the likes of like Norwich and Aston Villa and everyone Bournemouth struggling as well. Right, here we go. Grimsby Town against Chelsea. Let's see if we can get this one up and running with a early goal. Oh my gosh, it's come back off the post. Oh, I was about to celebrate. I was about to go absolutely mental, but get away with one. I don't know what's going on. It's pissing me off because I know that FIFA had an update recently. Um, and it said that, you know, we're going to have it so that shots go on target a bit more often. And it just doesn't feel like that at all. Oh my god, no, 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 oh. Oh. Arsenal just scored Saka. Bukayo Saka. Seems like the only person who actually wants to play for Arsenal at the moment. Like, when you look at the performances on paper, I think it's him. Him and Martinelli seem like the only players that can be asked to play for Arsenal. It's just ridiculous when you consider a team like Arsenal to have, you know, none of your first team players really wanting to play or certainly showing that they want to play oh my god what's going on we just hesitate on the ball there too busy talking about Arsenal too busy talking about Arsenal not concentrating on the way that we're playing we have seen a lot of the ball though in this first half Chelsea aren't doing too great in the Premier League this season oh green words as I say that we give the ball away cheaply in the middle of the pitch here comes hudson Adoy. oh no someone who we're going to get to know very very well indeed oh get out of the way get out of the way Hot potato, hot potato, get it away. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Sanchez Rebass, please. Oh, what are you done? Mustafi really better than Jones. What a man, mate. Mustafi. What a legend. What a legend Mustafi is. I love that. I love, I love that fuck up against Chelsea in the Premier League the other day. That was fantastic. Please, right, let's go. Please, please, can we win this, please? Oh! <laughs> oh! This is so oh, fucked. Uh, Jesus Christ. Like I say, Chelsea, Chelsea aren't actually doing that great. I think they've still got Kepa in goal as well, which is always going to be a plus for us, right? Uh, considering how bad Kepa is. What is it? I think... What was that stat? It's like Kepa 
out of 130 or, or 150 goalkeepers across Europe, he is like 140th in terms of save percentage, which is just bamboozling considering he is the most expensive goalkeeper in the world. Like, stuff like that always, always un like, weirds me out. Oh my god, no, no. Marquez de Oliveira there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Please, counter attack, counter attack. Sanchez rebounds on the counter. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I'm not good at FIFA, guys, I'm sorry. If you came here for quality, quality gameplay, you have come to the wrong place. This is not good for us so far. Hudson Odoi. Oh, Hudson Odoi playing on his near side. Oh, Kabak. Get it away, get it away, get it away. There we go, there we go, there we go. Here we go. What is that? Why is it, why are you playing the ball out wide? Right, back to Greenwood, back to Greenwood. Oh, you're offside, you're offside, he's offside, he's offside. He's offside, isn't he? I thought he was offside! But the flag hasn't gone up. Okay, let's celebrate. Everyone get happy in the chat. Bang, fuck. I thought I was offside. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought he was offside. Ah, he's not, you know, he's on. He's on. Oh, what a difficulty am I on? Only on professional. Because I'm not good. I'm I'm only playing it on professional because, because I'm because I'm shit. I tried playing it on like legendary or whatever the next step up was and I got my shit pushed in, basically. I right, like to put it to put it politely, I got absolutely destroyed by a CPU side and I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm not gonna enjoy FIFA. I really don't enjoy it. I'm not gonna enjoy it any more playing on a higher difficulty than what I'm playing on at the moment. Hey, you know what, you can hate me if you want. That's just the way it is, you know. If I was good at FIFA, if I was any good, then yeah, I'd play it on higher difficulties. But I'm, I'm not. So, like I can say, if you want quality FIFA gameplay, like amazing FIFA gameplay with people doing tricks and stuff, then you've definitely come to the wrong place. Because I can't do that. Kubo though, oh Kepa, Kepa, buttery fingers. Just manages to slip that around the outside of the post. Just whip it in. Couple of minutes left here in the first half. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Recycle, recycle. Linz. Oh, we can't get a shot off just before half time. 1 0, 1 0. I feel like we definitely deserve to be ahead in this one so far. It's been a good game. Squadron Mustaf Mustaf Goat. <laughs> Mate, Kepa oil hands with butter. Yeah, mate. The guys, I, I honestly don't know. What is it? How much did Chelsea pay for him? Like, it was definitely in excess of 70 million or something. I don't, still to this day, don't know why he's 70 million. Can you at least do keep your uppies on FIFA? I can. That's about the only, I can do keep your uppies and like, step overs. That's probably about the easiest skills I can do. I can't do like, step over. I can't, I can't string skills together so I can't do like step overs into something else into something else and then you know do like a fake shot into a whatever fucking Megidi turn or whatever Megidi spin into a Cruyff turn I can't do like I can't link skill moves up together because I have no idea how they work oh what a goal that is is that Devecchi I think it might be Devecchi you know yeah, it is look at that look at that celebration Devecchi Woo! that's what I'm talking about I wanted to see you doing full on step overs, mate. Mate, I'll show you doing the step overs, mate. What's going on? Give me give me the ball back and I'll I'll show you the the highlight of my skill, my FIFA twenty skills on point. Oh my god, please. Please, let's just get the ball back. Get the ball back. Get the ball get the ball back. Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, you you have no skill moves, mate. Ah, uh, look, I, I don't, I don't know, when it, <laughs> so whenever, when it, when it comes to me doing skills right, it's literally me holding down LT and flicking the right stick everywhere, like that, oh, oh, see the skills, the skills, the drag backs, flip flaps, whatever you want to fucking call them, huh. Yeah, I'm share skills. That's that's why I don't. Uh, I'd love to really get good at skills on FIFA. Like that is something. If I could literally choose anything in the world to be good at, it would be FIFA skills. 
because I would it'd just be funny to like play against people and just do all of those really bullshit skill moves oh my god they hit the post they're coming in at the far post Pereira is there to get a hand on it here we go now De Vecchi De Vecchi show off De Vecchi has no skill moves that's what I've decided Ah, uh, yeah. See, look, I can't, I can't do any skill moves. I'll try and do some keepy ups. I'll try and do some keepy ups. Here we go. Here we go. Keepy ups, yeah. Keepy ups. Oh, he never saw it coming. That was, that was close, guys. That was close. I, I'm not gonna lie. I panicked. I panicked way too hard doing the keepy ups there. What is that? I want to do rainbow flicks now. I want to. I want to start doing rainbow flicks. I want to start getting really fucking stupid with skill moves. Fifteen minutes left in this game. We 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 we're more or less won against Chelsea, right? Why, right, right, guys? We've more or less won here. Oh, oh, easy. Oh, Lombo Suarez doing all kinds of weird skill moves. Chelsea are looking like a beaten team now. Yeah, one or two heads have dropped. I think they've given up on it. Greenwood. Oh, that would have been fantastic goal. Am I Scottish or English? Do I sound Scottish? I don't think I sound Scottish. I'm English. I'm from London, mate. Well, they couldn't keep possession. They've given it away. I don't know. I mean, my, my voice, like, I lived up north, or I was up north in Eden University for, like, not up north, north, but like, north. Further north from London, I was up there in Nottingham for a couple of years doing university stuff. So I think that's maybe why I sound a bit like more northern sometimes. But oh, we go for go for a speculative long shot there. I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely not German. Fuck that. Fuck that. Right, looks like we are going to be coming through in the FA Cup against Chelsea. Paul Pogba, for some reason, is at Chelsea. That's uh, weird. But then again, I mean, Tammy Abraham has gone to Liverpool. Two added minutes now. Max Ahrens, the young left-back from Norwich at Chelsea. No, Adoy, Adoy, no. There we go. Easy. Easy, as you like. 2-0 home win against Chelsea in the FA Cup. Home fans erupt. Kepa, what are you playing at, mate? What are you playing at? World's most goal, world's most expensive goalkeeper. My fucking ass, mate. Get out of here. Who do I support? I support QPR, mate. I support QPR. Yep, I know. Not a great team to support, but what can you do? Local side, so yep, that's who I support. Queens Park Rangers. We're not doing too badly in the in the championship, but we're not doing great either. So you know what? I'm happy with the boys. I'm happy with the boys today. Fantastic. We could have definitely won by more. I feel like we definitely could have won by more in that one. And you know what? We can definitely learn from Max Aaron's young Max, left wing back for Chelsea. So, I'm going to swim forward a bit. We're up in the fifth. Join on points with Spurs. Liverpool are there again with Arsenal. So, we're only seven points behind Man City in second. So, it's not unfeasonable for us to, you know, still push on and, you know, make it maybe into the top four, top three. Looking like a real feasibility uh, this season we've got manager we've got player returning from loan Sean Lee has returned back from loan we definitely don't need him but yeah you have friends that support Fulham and Chelsea fair enough man fair enough I mean Fulham Chelsea relatively close to each other I per I mean I personally prefer Fulham just because again I always like the sort of lesser teams I don't know what it is that's what I mean that's why I'm playing as Groovesy Town I know that now we're in the Premier League, but it wasn't always this way. Obviously, we started off in League Two, and it's been a quite a quite a large grind up to try and get to where we are today. I know it's only a virtual game, um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been it's been fun playing FIFA. Although nine times out of ten, I fucking hate the game. I think uh, I get I think a lot of that hatred for the game comes from the fact that I'm not really good at it, as I've just demonstrated with my perfect skill moves. Oh, Stefano Mancini's been scouted up. Oh, this is not good. I hate it when players get taken. Um, 
we're gonna get rid of you. You're not good enough. Oh my god, what are you even? What are you even doing in the team? Look at that, 50 to 68. Get out of here, mate. Get out of here. Please, man. Italy. I thought you were gonna find me the next Andrea Pirlo. Obviously not. Obviously not so far. I mean, this guy could be okay, but not looking good so far. The last few minutes against Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah. Mm, uh, uh, I mean. We went, we went 2-0 down, I didn't really expect anything. I know we obviously pulled one back fairly early on, or fairly late on, um, but yeah. I was down there to watch the Leeds game, which was a good fun, good game to watch. Probably the most entertaining 1-0 game I've watched in a long time. Uh, right, we are going to be searching for some players. I don't even know who I've got on my like transfer hub. Who is in my transfer hub at the moment? I've got a bunch of like weird random players. Like this guy, really weird player who oh, I saw fairly early on. He was like a free agent. This guy as well was a free agent early on. David Tavares, throwback to season one. Troy Parrott is there, 82 rated. Trying, I, I'm trying to think of like what other players we've got. We've got Eze in there. I'm not too sure I want to sign Eze, to be fair. Daniel James. Danny Olmo. Danny Olmo is looking like a decent shout. You know, I'm liking the look of him. Really liking the look of Olmo. Could I sub to you after the streaming? Yeah, sure, man. What's your, uh, what's your channel name, dude? Yeah, drop it, drop it in the chat, and I'll try and make sure that I can uh, that I sub straight away afterwards. Still looking for some players, looking for a centre back maybe. I don't, I, I, got, I, it always happens. I'm always like, oh, what player do I want? And I never know what player I actually want to sign. I feel like, yeah, definitely a defender. A defender is is definitely someone who I want to sign. Ryan Kent, is that is that your is that your YouTube name or is that a player that you're asking me to look for? Kent. Ryan Kent is there. He has that something special. Oh my. Oh my, Ryan Kent. What are, you, what are you saying? Left winger as well, though. Left winger as well. Um, yeah, could be good. Could be good. I wanna, I wanna like. What's um? I doubt that like players like Karamoko Dembele or anyone like that is gonna be in this game, are they? Yeah, I don't think Karamoko Dembele is gonna be in this game. Maybe a bit too young. Liverpool FC hero, yeah, 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 cool man. I'll uh, check you out afterwards, dude. Ooh, what centre backs have we got? I haven't really got anyone, do we? I've got this guy. He could be he could be half decent, 84 rated, but he's just, just, just too expensive. Too expensive. Uh, I'm not really like great at this whole trying to sign player thing, am I? Um. We will leave the team as it is. We've got a game against Stoke. Let's sim this one. Sim a couple of games and then play one at the end of the stream. They've lost 2 0, 4 0, and then 2 0 against both Manchester clubs. And they also lose 2 0 against us. And Devecchi with the double gets the penalty in the 34th minute and then seals the deal in the 46th minute just after half time. They also have a man sent off midway through the second half. Opamecano. I think he's at Real Madrid. I think Opamecano is at Real Madrid. I think someone else has suggested him. I, I know exactly who he is. And don't get me wrong, he's fantastic. But I think he's at Real Madrid and I think he's like 200 million or something. Oh. But yeah, his release clause is 105.2 million. They're, they're, they're not going to accept any more than any, any less than that. That's the issue. Like, I appreciate your suggestion, dude. It's just these guys are just... yeah. They're tied down to like maximum contracts and there's literally nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing I can do about it. What I'm going to do... I want to try and find... Edit the instructions. Give me the contract. One. 
give me what other position? I want like a left winger, right? A winger. Contract one. Because I think the contract one means that they will try and find players who are close to the end of their contract. I think that's what that means. Never really understood it. But I'm fairly certain that's what it means. Why am I not on track? Why am I not on track? Because youth development. Sign two youth players to the senior team in the same season. They were scouted and play them in a 10 matches either as part of the starting 11 or as coming on as a sub. Uh, uh, sign three players in your youth academy. Assigned to the defender position. Uh, they're going to kill me for not believing in my youth. Why is the youth objective so like high priority right now? I don't need that. Don't need that when my financial is crucial. I do not need youth players to be getting in the way. Ah, oh, that's why it's like more important that I try and qualify for the Champions League. Woba right back for FC Salzburg. Let's have a look at him. Let's see what's going on with Woba. Although at the moment I don't play. Is it, is, it, is it this guy? Is this the guy you're talking about? Maximilian Wober? It's not a right back, he's a centre back? Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's the guy that you're talking about. But yeah, it's uh... I mean, I don't pl don't currently play with right backs. Do not currently play with, with right backs. Or left back, or f full backs. Let's just generalise it and say full backs. I don't play with full backs at the moment. I don't see any reason why we couldn't change it up. We are in fifth. One of three teams on 51 points there. I, we we need to, we need to make it into the uh, into the Champions League, man. We, that's 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 the aim. We need to make it into the Champions League so that we don't get sacked. Otherwise, I feel like we our job might be on the line. Sam Davis, you're definitely coming back into into the team. Do not worry about that. Do not worry about that. We are coming back into the team uh, for Linz. Let's get Bailey on the pitch on the right hand side. Let's also get uh, Mason Moore or Edson Race on the pitch. Put Ampadu on. I feel like that's, that's, that's alright. I feel like that's, that's a decent enough team. Sean Lee is back. Sean Lee. We've got we've got too many good right right wingers, man. Right wing seems to be our best position. Wilson is there. I don't understand it. Wilson was signed. He was signed in the youth squad. I don't understand why he is not like counting towards my youth objectives. Maresic. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. Can't, I can't guarantee anything. Like I say, I'm really only asking for suggestions. Is it Dario Maresic? I'm assuming. Ah. Uh, why did they, they they take so long to scout? I don't understand. I just wish that I could see everyone's overall rating and then make my decision there and then. That's honestly what I wish. We'll sim this one and then we'll play the next one. And I think that'll be probably the last game that we play on this stream. 1-1. One, one, I mean, point away from home. To rescue a point in the 86 minutes. Not the best. And maybe we'll lose some ground on the teams around us. But... Better than a loss, I guess. I mean, we're still in there in fifth place. Liverpool have a game in hand. Potentially going to go four points ahead of us. Like the Merseyside derby coming up, though. So, hopefully Everton can do us a favour. Hopefully Everton can do us a favour there. Maresic is good. Fairly so. I, um, I'm, I, I believe you, mate. I believe you. It's just I, I've made a couple of bad signings where I haven't scouted the players beforehand and it's not gone that well um but you know what i mean i'll i'll go back to him have a look at him he's a center back shortlist him in the transfer hub let's also go and have a look at him in the transfer hub see how much we are uh, 10 million 10 million maybe as a ballpark figure for a center back Could be, could be a bit of a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. He's 26 years old as well. He's, he's decent. He looks like he's decent. 
go ahead and approach to buy him. See, well, I don't know. I don't know what's a what's a good offer to put in. I don't know what's a good amount of money to put in. Uh, that's why I'm gonna ballpark it and go for ten million straight away. Ah, uh, I don't know. See, that's why I don't like it because I never know how much. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Sorry. I should I, I should have been maybe more. Uh, more crucial with it and went in with like 20 million it's not like we didn't have the money to do it I was trying to be really cheeky there I was honestly trying to be super cheeky <sighs> as I'm um, so sorry I always I always fuck that shit up all right we're over it let's go ahead put our best team back out Kubo the Vecchi, Greenwood, it's probably our best defense. Oh, Kabak, Pereira, Puig, Sean Lee on the bench, Bailey not playing a role in this game. Rogel really being left out of the team. It'll probably be 81-82. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm looking for like an 85 centre back to be fair. Let's play this game against Burnley, the final game on today's stream. A bit longer than normal, but we've had fun. We've had fun. You know, the Liverpool game really was that turning point where we pulled it back from being 2-0 down to draw 2-2. That, that was the point where I felt like giving up and just stopping playing FIFA. But it's, things have looked up. Things, things have looked good from then on out. So I know we haven't played as many games, but... It's been good. It's been good. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. I tried to get Mar Marisic. That was my bad. I can only apologise. I was trying to be stupidly cheeky, basically. I was trying to lowball the offer because I didn't know how much they wanted for him, basically. Could you say I hate tick? I hate TikTok. I mean, I do. I do hate TikTok. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Skills to pay the bills. Ah! Where is your strength, lad? Please, Puig. Where is your strength? I know you're only like five foot six, but where is your strength? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, the Vecchi was away there. He was away. He was 100% away and threw on goal. Oh my God! Why are you just showing it to him? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I. I do not know how to defend in this game. I honestly have no idea how to defend. Oh, I think I know how. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, I think I know how to defend. You have a good couple of games where you defend well. Oh, what a goal that is. Who is that? Is that Tefeci or is that Kubo? It looks like it might be Kubo or Greenwood. Kubo is definitely Kubo. Look at that. Playing the flute. There we go, mate. 1-0, that's what I'm talking about. That's how we start off things here against Burnley. Burnley struggling, conceding a lot of goals. Gets it away with his left foot. Defender coming across him, just can't get there in time. Goalkeeper outstretched to his left. Can't get across to get a hand on that one. So goal inside the 13th minute there. Easy as you like. Takafusa Kubo. One of, the, one of the bargains of the season, I think. I think we signed him for like 8.8 .8 million. Because his release clause was really, really low. The same as this Ricky Puig guy that we've got in the middle of the park as well. His release clause was like 12 million. That's why I like looking for players who have got release clauses in their contract. Because sometimes you find players who have like not had their contracts renewed and they've got a ridiculously low release clause. Oh, the Vecchi was trying to curl that into the far post there. Cutting back in on his left foot. Just can't get there. Look at that. Fantastic header there. Ricky Puig controls the ball in the middle of the park. Got like 94 passing, I think. Oh, that's us, ref. That's us. Alright. Oh, what was that pass, Greenwood? 
Oh, look at that. Lombo. Lombo Suarez. Oh, that would have been a fantastic goal. Oh, he's offside. Sanchez. Rebas is offside. That's annoying. That would have been a fantastic goal. That's it. Oh, come on. Use your strength, lad. Please. Oh, come on. A final ball. It feels like Bernie are playing with like a flat back five. Oh, that's it. Good, good pass from Bernie. That's it. What on? Wow. I, I, I have no words for that, basically. That's that's why my mouth just made that sound, is because I didn't know how to describe that. It's just frustration. That's what it is, frustration. What days of the week do you stream and what time? Because I'll come back next time. Uh, I don't I don't really have like a set schedule in terms of what days. Normally, normally I'm on like, normally I'm live around about like 7 p.m. Most, not most nights, but I'd say maybe like two or three times a week. I try to get it so that I'm streaming like every other day. So it'll be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then sometimes I'll also do a stream on like the weekend. If I haven't done one on a Friday. If I'm busy on a Friday, I'll do one on the on a Saturday instead. I don't really, like I say, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have more of a structured schedule. But then again, I'm also trying to play games that aren't just FIFA. But that seems to be all that I play. Um, I do have a bunch of games that I want to play, and I'm, it's just I'm trying to figure out a way to try and you know make it entertaining for you guys. And uh, I don't want to I don't want to like play a game on stream if it's not going to be fun. That's that's the way that I mean that's basically the way that I try and have it. You know I want I want games on the stream to be fun and enjoyable for everyone. Oh my god, what a goal that is! I did not even see Kubo snooking around there at the far post. I thought it was offside, but what a goal that was from Takafusa Kuba just on the stroke of half time as well. I did not see him sneaking around that far post. Look at this. Where is he? I thought he, oh, he, I thought he, he looked offside. He looked offside, but oh my god, what a goal that is! Just places it into the far post. Fantastic goal. Yeah, like I say, man. I mean, normally you stream yeah a couple of days a week. Um, normally around about half six, seven o'clock, depending on how I'm feeling. Maybe later on a Friday because I don't have to wake up in the morning because uh, I only do work Monday to Friday. Um, might be a bit different this week though because I am away on Friday and Saturday. We're back on Sunday and I'm off on Monday. So yeah, I mean, if there's any like particular games that you want to see me play, you know, let me know. I'll see what I can do. I'm not made of money, but you know, I'll certainly, certainly try and play some different games for you guys. Yeah, like I can say, I've got a couple of games that I want to play. I just don't know if they're going to be as entertaining for you guys as they are for me. And that's 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 really the issue that I've sort of faced. Is that it's not that I don't play other games. It's, I don't want to like, I don't know. I don't want it to be like boring for you guys to watch. I really, I really like. Yeah, I don't. I, I just want to make my streams as entertaining as they can be. That's why FIFA is sort of a good outlet because I'm bad at FIFA, so it's always going to be funny even if I'm losing. Greenwood, oh my God, how the hell has he found space there? He's got the ball out of his feet though. Scored that goal. GTA, I do have GTA. I don't have. GTA on a like I, I I don't play I haven't played GTA online I've never played GTA online um, I don't play GTA like I haven't played the GTA story mode or whatever you want to call it in a long time I also don't have like a good save of it available so like I had it on my Xbox 360 um, and I've got it on PC now because it was in a sale. Um, I've also got it on like Xbox One as well because it was on like Games of Gold or whatever a few months back. Um, but yeah, I, I've never played. I've never played Xbox, uh, uh, GTA Online. Uh, I've never really had anyone who wants to play GTA Online. Oh, there we go. Greenwood is through. Greenwood is through. Oh, he drills it. 
grass cutter to the left hand side there we go oh playing dead look at him fantastic goal from Mason Greenwood 4-0 it's too easy I mean Burnley are struggling Burnley have got one of the worst defenses in the Premier League this season so they are really struggling towards the bottom end of the table but you know what we're gonna be ruthless as ever especially considering some of the opponents that we have come up against already in the Premier League you know that we have to be winning the games against these kinds of teams no disrespect to Burnley of course but oh oh tearing them to shreds oh my gosh I know it's only professional difficulty I don't I don't care I know it's only professional but absolutely being torn apart here Burnley look at this oh it's just too easy oh he hits it first time Sanchez Rebas nine goals in the Premier League this season making a substitution Whoa. what a way to end the stream what a way to end the stream 5-0 still maybe more to come in this game here we go oh Devecchi going for a long shot we're just being stupid with it now we're going to go for some 30 yard screamers we're going to see what, what kind of goals we can score obviously try not to concede as well Marcus Dolivera gets a foot in fantastically well Kubo Kubo oh my god it's too easy too easy Mason Greenwood with the hat trick what a way to end 6-0 still not over maybe Kubo very much unselfishly playing in Mason Greenwood 15 goals in the Premier League for the young English striker there Obviously, we are in charge of the England national team now as well, so you can bet that we are going to be trying to give him some game time there. We might even implement our formation into the team, the 3 4 1 2. We might have to implement that on the international side. Let's see how that goes. Play with two strikers, two English strikers, perhaps Rashford and Greenwood. Oh, oh Pereira. Fall apart defensively there, but he hasn't really been tested all day. Greenwood is coming off now for Sean Lee. Back in action in the Guernsey Town shirt for the first time in a long time. Out on loan for a bit, obviously. Be interesting to see how well he comes back and adapts to the game again. Like I say, after being away for quite some time. Other players in the squad having a chance to gel. Perhaps a bit better than he has had. Here he goes though, Sean Lee. Distinctive yellow afro there. Getting invaluable experience, mind you, playing on loan for Liverpool. Oh, do manage to clear it, Burnley do. Out for a throw in on this near side towards the corner flag. Sean Lee, oh my gosh, almost, almost coming back and making an immediate impact. There we go, that's ours, that's ours, ref, well done. Oh, what is that throw on, lad? There we go, though. Doesn't matter, 6 0 away from home, Turf Moor. Echoes of booze around the stadium. Mason Greenwood picks up the match ball for yet another hat trick. I think it's the second one this season. Look at that, 11 shots, 9 on target, 60-40% possession. Just just way too good on the day. Way too good on the day for the likes of Burnley. Un unlucky Burnley. A tough game for you, obviously. Only playing on professional difficulty, but still, 6-0 is a 6-0, so we'll take it. Time for just a few questions. Hey, look, you know what? Greenwood, breathtaking. Fantastic. We're unbeaten for a reason, you know. We're doing well. We're going on a good run of form. Uh, there is no stopping us at the moment in the run of form that we yeah, are no in. Questions, thanks. Could I remember to sub to you? Yes, of course, man. Of course, dude. No worries. Uh, let's just go ahead and check. Inbox Pereira is thanking us for all of the first team action. Mate, I expect more from you. You have been fantastic over the last couple of seasons as well. We've got a game in the FA Cup coming up in the next stream against Preston. Let's go ahead and have a look at leagues. Can we have a look at the Premier League, please? I just want to see 
what's going on in the Premier League. For some reason, it refuses to show me the Premier League, though. I don't know why that is. I don't know why it always refuses to show me the Premier League. But I think we're doing okay in the Premier League. I think we must be like still in like fifth place in the Premier League. Not doing too badly. Our team is fantastic. Like I say, 90 rate Sanchez rebounds on the team is always, always great. We have also, for those that missed it, we are also now the manager of the England national team. This is the current setup of the England national team. Trent, Deli Alley, Kane, Foden, Rice, Gomez, Chilwell, Stones, Pickford, Sancho, 92 rated on the right hand side. Our bench is looking beefy as hell. Rashford in there, Tammy Abraham, Hudson Odoi as well. Obviously, Grimsby Town's finest Mason Greenwood is in the squad. Wan Bissaka on the right as well. We're looking, we're looking fairly, fairly decent. Fairly decent there. It's a good, it's a, it's a, it's a good international team. All sort of coming into their prime as well, so it's always, always, always good news. But yeah, like I say, guys, next game, the first game on the next live stream is going to be FA Cup game against Preston North End away from home in round four of the FA Cup. Just like to say a big thanks to everyone who has come and hung out uh, this evening. It's always a pleasure to come and hang out with you guys. And I appreciate all of your support. And chatting with you guys is always a lot of fun indeed. So yeah, for now guys, I will see you guys later. And I'll see you in the next one, probably on Wednesday night. Um, again, I'll probably end up playing FIFA. Although I want to play some new games on stream. But I'll probably end up playing FIFA. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe I'll play FIFA. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll find something different to play. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace.